yeah so this week we've spent time with the locally made um, polo new polo in its one liter TSI form um, three cylinder motor and it is the 70 kilowatt five cylinder um, five speed manual sorry where do we start okay it looks good in this gray we like this ascot gray it's a color that looks like a prime but it's it's grown used to us i think brand Audi with another another gray rs3 i had it a while ago i hope i've got the clip to upload here Ooh, that was an exciting car and um well here it's a very nice color it's got these wheels that look very nice that provide great comfort i think these are 17s if not 16s and they're very comfortable the all-round feel of the car is comfortable on the side it looks nice color-coded photo mirrors color-coded door handles at the back the polo badging new polo badging new badge um i like the actual smash and grab tint they've got on this car looks very nice it looks it makes it look very professional and um yeah so all round in the exterior looks about to get a little polo yeah you know how people get and I was wondering actually when I got this car again that I've had this car a while ago but I had the 85 kilowatt motor and I think when I had this manual I had a blue one a while ago and we just done the launch yeah so when I got this one again it was very nice and it was a beautiful refresher uh, refresher course from VW because he has combos about how good this car is because this car is taking a beating for its pricing but people don't want to have a look at how it's grown and how it's matured in the way it does things so you come to the interior you get grab horse receipts which are very nice they may not be leather you get a lot of quality touches like this dash this big screen radio air conditioning multi-function steering a digital cluster which you can actually change in various forms of what you see but i'm a traditionalist so i prefer the analog dials i can read everything properly i can see how the revs are going speed is going the rear seat is decently comfortable the boot space is decently okay um so what do we talk about now right one of the first things you note Clemoto is that it's got all of them have got killer start uh, push start button they call it because killer killer entry is to do with accessing the car yeah this guy doesn't looks like he doesn't see me yeah so as you can see the grant is from a three cylinder 70 kilowatt motor so on the inside there's a lot of things to like that are very user friendly and i like its straightforward approach even though it's quite modern in the way it does things and in terms of driving it this one is equipped with um i dare say the full kit of what vw names the iq drive which is you get um, lane keeping assist where you let go of the steering in areas that are clearly marked on the freeway or in urban settings the steering will have inputs whereby if you're veering this way like i'm doing now it'll move it move the car back that way slightly and then that way again and then it'll give you a warning that please hold the steering with both hands and then you get things like um, uh, reversing camera. I think it's, it's got cross traffic alerts, forward collision warning, um, which in this car can be very scary. I've been meaning to actually have it reset, whereby if it thinks you're not going to stop, it'll kind of do a brief stop for you so that you don't come into an impact. Uh, okay, thank you. I was here first, but it's okay. Fly over the traffic circle. That goes to show how you were taught. And. Um, and then it has things like um, there's lane keeping assist then there's what was the other feature that I liked oh yeah this one's got park assist there's park distance control then there's park assist it has parallel parking assist which comes in very handy especially for a lot of people I know this a lot of people cannot parallel park so it's got that and uh, what was the other thing that I liked when you were inside you experiencing the car then there's other gimmicks like skipping tracks you swipe with your land left or right you can do the same for um for radio stations as well but you might have to click for radio stations it just basically pages when you're playing music which Mari loves that feature she loves that feature a lot and then there's the way it drives very comfortable handles very well and how it delivers
delivers power is nothing short of amazing for something that when you read the numbers 70 kilowatts one liter three cylinder 175 newton meters of torque five speed gearbox there's you know what is amazing about this car and i'm going to say this now because when you drive a car that's got similar power which is the gt the gt has got an amazing amount of lag this on the other hand doesn't suffer from that if it does it's minute i mean like now i let go put it in second let go of clutch and i just was controlling this with this with the throttle she's moving beautifully all along and she really really this car it's one of those cars that as simple as a lot of things may be until you see all the tech that's gone into it it really is makes it makes living with it such a pleasure such a joy because and then there's the way it delivers power in any gear and when i say power i don't mean high performance power because uh, a lot of people have got this notion like oh, you'll find someone else when you channel doing launch control i mean the person that's buying this car is not going to be doing launch control honestly let's be honest now you need to know your audience yeah but because Mdona Lemondo wants to do the basic things but do them comfortably, do them safely. This has got a fair amount of airbags as well, which is a very decent thing. So it's a very safe car, very well built. And unfortunately, it's just one of those cars that is highly difficult to fault. Highly, highly difficult to fault. And um, it's taken a beating because it's one car that VW took in a standpoint because you can't get the golf anymore. And this very car its maturity has gone so close to the golf that if you can't find a tsi golf you being in one of these an 85 kilowatt dsg or this here manual 70 kilowatt we won't blame you if you go to work with a smile like this like so look hey being out on that stress fuel consumption uh we've done five one two five hundred twelve thousand k's five hundred twelve k sorry and um we filled up once. I think it was, I think we filled up 200 bucks and that was it. And we've been driving with that fuel since then. And it really, really is a very, very impressive vehicle. So how do I score this car? This one is gonna score a healthy eight out of five. Um, it's a very difficult car. And what I like is all these things that, I know that a lot of people may say, lane keeping assist maybe, what, you can switch it off. I don't switch it off because I see the extent of how, how safe these cars can keep us. So 8 out of 5, like, subscribe, tell us what you think. The engine delivers well and it has great fuel consumption. It's got shift indicators so you'll always be made aware. And it really, really is a very, very good car. It's a very, very good car. Like, subscribe, tell us what you think. The new Polo, man.